Hi guys. So sorry, I sound pretty terrible. I am. I have a cold. So <gasps> flu please, season. please excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so today we thought we would share five cheap slash cost effective breakfast ideas. So I don't know about you, but for a long time I didn't like eating breakfast, or I just like didn't like, which is terrible. But now that I'm like being an adult and things, <laughs> I try to eat breakfast every day. Basically how I do it is I, we do our grocery shopping on either Saturday or Sunday like for the rest of the week. And the things that I buy for breakfast are, and then I'll share like recipes that I do with them. I get a big bag of frozen berries, usually like blackberries, raspberries kind of thing. Uh, I always have peanut butter and then we get like a whole grain or like a seven grain bread and bananas and Greek yogurt. So Yum. I get those things. And so the first breakfast that I really like to have is I'll just toast a piece of the bread and I'll take the honey Greek yogurt and put that on the bread with some berries and a little bit of cinnamon. Ooh, yummy. So yeah, so you're getting grains, you're also getting a dairy and Greek yogurt's good because it also has protein in it and then you're getting fruit with the berries and then cinnamon is really great for your metabolism. So it's sort of like a little power breakfast <laughs> in one little piece of toast. So it takes I some like time that. to make too. Yeah, it's really quick. And I just buy frozen berries, so I'll just like defrost them in the microwave a little bit or something. But I sometimes they'll buy fresh, but it's like easier to just get frozen because they don't go bad or anything. So that's my first breakfast idea. Nice. Um, so how I breakfast shop or shop for breakfast uh, every week kind of varies. It depends on what's on sale and what I'm kind of feeling. So like since I'm pregnant, <laughs> um, like some things sound good, other times they don't sound good. So it usually varies. <laughs> but some staples that I tend to have for breakfast are oats for oatmeal, um, yogurt, granola, and berries as well. So one of my go-tos lately has been just a bowl of oatmeal with some almond milk, brown sugar, and whatever type of nut or fruit that's on sale that week. So I've been getting walnuts just in the bulk section from Sprouts because they're pretty good, mm -hmm. you know, priced that way. And it's brain food, and I hear they're good for your baby in the womb. So I've been eating those. And um, any type of dried fruit or fresh fruit, and just, that's, it's really great. It holds me over for like, the morning. Some people can't really eat oatmeal because it's really heavy. Yeah. I actually used to be that way, but um, I think I just need more food in the morning now. Um, so it's been helping me out. Mm. One of my faves. Um, another one that I do, it's sort of using the same thing. I take the, another piece of bread and I'll just cover, I'll toast it with a little bit of peanut butter and then I'll put some banana and honey on top. Peanut butter and honey is like, I love any the like go peanut butter and honey combo. Um, so yeah, it's using the same bread that I get for the week and we always have peanut butter So that tends to be like at the end of the week when we're like out of groceries it Sort of like ends up being the thing that I eat is toast peanut butter honey and banana So it's really good if you like peanut butter which I do or I'll get almond butter if I'm feeling like Oh, particularly. yeah, change it up. Yeah. That's what I have breakfast this morning peanut butter toast um, my my other go-to <laughs> is yogurt and granola and um I like getting those things weekly anyway while grocery shopping because it tends to be a staple. Like I'll yeah. have it maybe for a snack in the mid-morning or for breakfast. It kind of just depends. Um, if I'm in a hurry, I'll probably have it for breakfast in the morning. I usually just get um, the individual coconut milk yogurts from either Sprouts or Trader Joe's. They tend to be really cheap and just dump it in a bowl with some granola. Like I said, if I have berries on hand, maybe put some in there too, but um, it's a really cheap, easy breakfast that you can kind of eat quickly and will hold you over, so. Yeah. That's great. <clears throat> Love it. So my last one is a smoothie, and this is really good, like, if I'm, like, slept in a little bit, I'll, like, make a smoothie really quick and drink it, like, while I'm getting ready or, like, bring it with me or whatever. And how I make my smoothies, and there's, like, a zillion different ways you can make a smoothie, but lately what I've been doing is my bag of mixed berries. I'll throw some of those in with a banana and some baby spinach because you don't taste it like with the berries and the banana and everything but you're also getting like a green in the morning which is a good way to start the day so yeah so mixed berries spinach banana and then orange juice and i just blend that up and i like it it's a good, good smoothie and sometimes i'll have that like with peanut butter toast if i'm feeling like particularly hungry that day or something but yeah a lot of times i'll just make that and like drink it while i'm getting ready if i'm in a rush so Sweet. So yeah, guys, those are our five cost-effective, healthy breakfast options. 
let us know in the comment section below maybe what some of your um, favorite go-to breakfast items are or maybe some tips you have for planning breakfast for the week just to be cost effective and budget friendly we would love to know uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys next week bye